Yo, what's up fellow content creators and streamers? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to set up your cam link with your Sony camera so you can have that crispy quality for your recordings and streams. And with no time to waste, let's get right into it. So before anything, the first thing you guys are gonna need is your cam link and camera, obviously. But the other two things you're gonna need is a dummy battery for your camera and then a micro HDMI to HDMI cable. I will link the dummy battery and HDMI that I got down below in the description. It's pretty simple to set up. For the cam link, obviously, just plugging into your computer. For the micro HDMI to HDMI, HDMI cable, you plug in the HDMI and the cam link, and then the micro HDMI goes up into your camera. And then for the dummy battery, obviously you just plug it in to the wall and then just put it in your camera like so. The next thing you wanna do is turn on your camera and set it to movie mode. Once you have it in movie mode, make sure you click it on manual exposure. For all the camera settings, all you have to do is click on menu on your camera and it'll pop up like this. Image size, leave at 24 M. Aspect ratio, three by two, that's fine, quality, fine. Fine. XAVCS, that's the best file format. If you want to record or shoot at 30 FPS, you can but I like to keep it at 60 FPS just to have a smooth quality stream. For drive mode, single shooting, flash off, flash comp zero, red eye reduction off. For focus mode, keep it on continuous auto focus. Focus area wide, illuminator off, drive speed normal, duration normal. For ISO, I would just keep the auto. For white balance, I would go to temp and filter and try to set your own white balance. Make sure your face detection is on so your camera knows what to look at. Make sure your HDMI resolution is set to 1080p. Your control for HDMI is on and your HDMI info display is off. Everything else should be good to go. So now go into OBS, add a new source, and then you want to click on a video capture device. For me, I already have a capture device for my camera, so I don't need to add it. Once it's been added, double click on main camera. Make sure your device is set to cam link 4K. If your camera is frozen or something, just deactivate and reactivate. It'll usually work. For resolution, change it to custom. Change your resolution to 1080p. For my camera, it's set to 60 FPS, so make sure this is matching the output. For video, Video format do YUY2. This is the best video format for most cameras. Color space 709. Color range set to partial and buffering set to disabled. And now your camera should be good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have it already, please be sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe down below. It takes two seconds to do. And other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.